Amana, it looks like you're up to organic chemistry again. Hi, I'd like to go over with you a question today on reactive intermediates. Come along and let's have a look. All right, Dr. Amana. Now, reactive intermediates are going to be chemical species that are formed during a reaction in which they are neither reactant nor products. Let's look at an energy diagram to illustrate what I mean. Say we have a reaction. This is going to be a two-step reaction. We have a reactant going to a product. Notice this first energy barrier, you can call it a hump if you want, represents transition state one. The second hump represents transition state number two. And in here is the intermediate. Now remember, you should be able to do this diagram and understand it for any exam you'll come across. You should also represent or understand that an intermediate um, could sometimes be isolated where a transition state cannot. An intermediate contains at least one vibrational energy level and a transition state, there's no energy levels that are vibrational that we can detect. There are six reactive intermediates that you need to be able to recognize. Usually to form a, um, one of these intermediates, the process is endothermic, means you gotta put in energy. And they're usually involved with rate determining steps. For example, if you look at number one, this is a carbocation. It's a carbon with a positive charge. For example, we see this in an SN1 reaction. Um, the leaving group leaves, and you form a carbocation. This one you should recognize, this is a carbanion. Notice if, say, for example, you had um, a carbon adjacent to a carbonyl group, those hydrogens, the alpha hydrogens, are acidic. A base can come in, and you can generate a carbanion. You might know this as an enolate. This one is another commonly asked one. It's a radical or a free radical. For example, bromine and light, if you all remembered, would be able to add to a molecule, and this reaction where we put a bromine would involve a radical. Number four you might not be so familiar with, that's a carbene. Um, a good example would be if you took chloroform and you took a very strong base, you would insert this carbon right here, which came from here, and that would involve something called a carbene. And that's a neutral species. A similar molecule, which I don't think you'll come across, would be a nitrine. So a nitrine is like a carbene, but it's the, it's the analog that has nitrogen in it. And it's more reactive than carbenes. We don't need to get on to a problem on that in this kind of class. Um, in advanced organic chemistry, we come across that. So that will just be able to mention just to recognize. And finally, number six, you should be able to recognize this really unstable species is benzene. And in those intermediates in which a triple bond is in a six-membered ring that looks like that, that's an arine. Um, if you remember, an arene contains the aromatic benzene ring, where an arine, as you can see, contains the triple ring. You'll see a nice question in Destroyer that we have involving benzene. All right, I hope this helps on at least be able to recognize a reactive intermediate. It's a sure bet question for your exam. All right, good day to you. I'll see you next time, and maybe we'll do some mechanisms on one of these. Hey, Dr. Mono, there's a lot of boats out there. Are you going boating now? No, good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Good day, Dr. Mono. That water looks mighty nice. Bye-bye.